Hi friends, it's me, Mr. JT, and today we're making paper. Let's go. So you're probably thinking, Mr. JT, how do you make paper? Well, I'm gonna tell you what you need. So in order to make paper, you are gonna need some pulp. So everybody, pulp can be made out of lots of things. It can be made out of cotton, it can be made out of abaca, which is actually what this pulp right here is made out of. Uh, but it's usually not gonna have this color. It has this beautiful orange color because I put a broken blush, like that kind of blush, in there to see what would happen. I'm quite experimental that way. You're also gonna need one of these. What is this? This is called a mold and decal. A mold and decal is a device that's used for forming a sheet of paper. As you can see, it has this flat mesh screen and this one is from India and it's made of teak wood and it's absolutely fabulous. You're also gonna need something to put your newly formed sheet of paper on. I use pelons, which are, I don't really know what they are, but they're a type of fabric. You could use cotton. Um, really, you can improvise with paper making. That's what I'm doing. You're also gonna need a drying system of some kind. Today, I have a big piece of plexiglass. Now, in order to create this pulp, uh, most people would use uh, what's known as a Hollander beater which is a very expensive piece of equipment, but it helps uh, make your fiber super fluffy and suspended. I do not have a Hollander beater, but I do have a blender with a leak in it, and that does just fine. <laughs> okay, everybody, it's time for us to form our first sheet. So make sure that your mold and decal are in the right order and that you are grasping it with a pretty good grip. We're gonna do a nice little princess wave right in here. Get all the pulp dancing, and then we're gonna dip in, and then we're gonna do a little paper maker shape. Now, all paper makers do a little different. Some people kind of sling, some people just let it gently drain away. We don't have to be in too much of a hurry. And done, and that's what your wet sheet of paper looks like. Now, with your wet sheet of paper, you're gonna take it over here. And this is called a post. This is where we're stacking our paper. And we're gonna do what's called cooching. We're gonna cooch it onto the pellon. So we're gonna gently rock it back and forth. And because there's so much water, do y'all see how much water there is? We're gonna go ahead and drain the back of it. Now this is not how everybody does it. This is just how I do it. Remember, you can make paper using limited resources, just like you can make prints using limited resources make any kind of art using limited resources really there we go now do 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 and there is our sheet of paper you can do this as many times as you want now that you have your post of paper made it's time to go over and put it on our drying system. Okay, I'm over here at my sheet of plexiglass and we are gonna just get the corner of this paper right here. As you can see, the paper holds itself together because all those little fibers are interlocked. Oh, now the wind's blowing. Okay, maybe. Oh, there we go. Now we just wanna get it onto a smooth surface as gently as possible. Now a window can work, the side of your dryer or refrigerator can work. So rainy days cannot stop you. I'm just using a tiny brush to try to get all the air out of it. Now that that's done, we just gotta let it dry. See you guys tomorrow. Okay, it's tomorrow now and our paper is dry. So I am just gonna peel it Maybe I'm gonna peel it. There we go. I'm just gonna peel it off. And as you can see, there is one kind of rough and textured side. And then there is one really beautifully smooth side. Okay, friends, let's go draw.
So thank you for hanging out with me. And remember, there are a thousand ways to make paper. So go and do some research and see if maybe you can cook some up at home for yourself.